Last time on Remnant 2, we killed a giant flying four-armed void magician, alien hammerhead shark, who we also set free in the first place actually. But today I want to go back to Narud and see what the custodian guy has to say about it, because... What? Wait, what? Yo, the hell is happening? Alright... So, uh, forget everything I said, apparently that, that is not what we are going to be doing. I, I, I don't even know where I am, what the fuck. Is this like a full-on area or are we just in like a, like a quick story section or something? The labyrinth. Uh, I, I, actually I think I remember this from Remnant 1, it's like a world between worlds. It is beautiful though. Oh! Bro, that... What? That... <laughs> Yo, that looks big. Yeah. Ruined. It's a relic. Let's go. Increases health regeneration by 5 and generates 500 mod power over 10 seconds for both weapons. Very nice. So it's like a DPS relic, I guess. Yo, the axes change. That was kind of sick. That kind of seems like a pathway too. I wonder if I can jump there. I mean, if I, I'm gonna try it. Eh, oh, oh, right, yo, I mean, let's go. Now we play the waiting game. Yo, let's go. Uh, can't get, all right, jump onto this side. And no, actually, I can't get around this. I don't know, maybe that's not a portal. Maybe it's just a trick platform. I mean, we got a, a th we, we got a fucking boss. Again, why am I surprised? Literally every path in this game leads to a freaking boss. Let's go. Oh, bro, these shockwaves kinda suck. They will stun you. Come on. Let's go. Yo, this machine gun does damage. Yo, eat a goddamn but What the? F what? Oh, wait. Oh, I got. Teleported into his but all right, so he still ate my hole. I well, <laughs> anyway, he died and he does damage. All right, vengeful strike. That shockwave on death probably has something to do with how that mutator works, but hey, new melee weapon. Yo, this thing looks pretty good. How's the move set on it? Yo, that's kind of nice actually. What's the heavy? Oh, bro, that's nice. Anyway, I believe this is the path I gotta go. Wait a minute. This thing changes. It does. All right, I just read this thing changes the place. Uh, that, that it takes you to. So this rock is the one that we used to drill. Like, we were on the other side, but all right, that's where it goes. This one though, I have no clue where it's going, and I think that's all just traps, right? Where does this one go? Uh, nah, that. Oh wait, yo, more secrets. Right, one is down. Still gotta kill this fucking ball, man. This enemy is so annoying. Oh, man, like he, he shoots right when he opens, but it's fine and we're getting a cypher rod. Oh, wait a minute. Hidden pathway, let's go. Come and get some. No, bro, was that ammo? Come on. Energized neck coil, new amulet. Bro, we're getting a lot of stuff here. Bro, this game got so much, like, hidden stuff. It, it's great. The exploration so far, it's been great. And then there's also these doors, which... I mean, they show up on the map as something. But I still... I don't know how to interact with them. Anyway, I'll just keep moving forward. I'm sure whatever I need, I'm eventually going to find... Wait, you don't use the strange object here? Well, now I'm just confused. Also, this heavy attack used to have like a special effect around it and now it doesn't i wonder why does it only shockwave under specific circumstances i'm still not sure where the progression route is though i i mean wait hold up 
Come, let's go. All right, all right, yo, that was fucking sick. But I don't. That's still not where I want to go. But we're gonna get a new relic. All right, convert five health has gray health to forty mod power per second for twenty five seconds for both weapons, and you cannot die from this conversion. All right, interesting stuff. Yo, wait, do I know this? No, I don't! Alright! This is where I gotta go. Fuck, man. Alright, there's a fog wall. The music is ramping up. If it's not a boss, it's an arena or something. Bro, just use this. That's gonna get them both. Come on, reload. I mean, it doesn't do a lot. I gotta hit the thing up top. You know, this gun isn't very good when you have to aim at something specific But when you can just shoot at whatever part of the enemy, then it is pretty good So every time we take out a wave This thing takes out some rocks from the door And now we have... Uh, I, I mean, I guess it's a mini boss, although I have seen it as a boss as well I mean, it's basically an elite, I guess that's what I'm trying to say it, It's a dangerous guy What? Well, Hey, that's a little too far. This one might reach though. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Bro, I always forget he does this in the end. Alright. Anyway. So is this the entire door? Yeah, I guess I can move now. Let's go. That thing gonna blow up. Yep. We got a new trait. Yo, increases AoE size. Kinda nice. I mean, I don't have a lot of AoE skills, but... This anyway, master portal key. So is that what you need to put in this thing? Yes, all right. Pull out the cube. Good stuff. Yo. Bro, like, the, the visuals on this game are so nice, man. Let's go. And even this portal effect, also very cool. Yo, cutscene? I think it's pretty safe to assume boss fight at this point. Is... that cube the boss? Also, why does it sound like a dolphin or whatever? <laughs> it's just... Oh, it opens up. Alright. It's getting interesting. So is this like a boss or a puzzle? ¿Por qué no las dos? Labyrinth Sentinel. Well, all right. <laughs> all right. So either way, I guess you have to shoot at that thing, but only when it's visible, I guess. I. All right. I see. This is like a puzzle fight. You know what? I might actually change back to the black maw here. Mostly because I just need things with ammo. And oh, you can actually destroy that. Uh, good stuff. All right. So, oh my God, bro. This dude is dangerous. I mean, it is a boss technically. Can I destroy it from here? I can. Ooh, that's not gonna be good. Please. All right. And now jump back. Wait a minute. There's a. Nah, that's. Bro, like. Alright, that's how you do it. Now, this one, I guess it's just done. I can probably try and take out the ones flying. Come on. Give me that. And that. And now I'm gonna have to dodge. Wait a minute, that's a different face. This, honestly, it's a very cool boss fight. I mean, I kind of hate it, the fact that you just get one shot constantly if you fail. But, I mean, the way it's done, it's, it's cool. It's very cool. What can I... No! I... So, today we learn your character doesn't jump a gap with a back roll. It has to be a front roll. All right. Actually, if I know this thing's bad, although my dog doesn't, apparently, I can just move around it, right? Yeah, it's fine. They're on a set path. That makes things... What the fuck? Uh, excuse me? What the fuck is that? Oh my god! I, <coughs> bro, 
What the hell? Rose, stop with this fucking shit. I don't even know what that is. But I'm it's shooting squares at me. Like, what the hell? Don't do that. Right. Oh, it's coming back. Shoot. Uh, can't go there. That one's up there. Shit. Uh. Uh, oh my god, bro! <laughs> Get the hell out of here! Oh my god! The tension, man! No! Honestly, considering these guys are on set patterns, I think I'll just stick to this first area, because this guy's pattern is pretty easy. Just goes around this thing, and just take out as many fucking white cubes as I can from here. Come on. Man, like you have a lot of visibility from this place. You can take out a lot of these things. This thing's gonna go around in this square over here. Come on, come on. Fuck. Uh, yo, anybody wants to show me their cube? Let's go. All right, so trying to figure out this boss fight. Uh, whenever these cubes have those like purple outlines or whatever, it's because they still have crystals on them. When you destroy all the crystals, they're just gonna look like regular stone. Let's go. Although it still has another one. It's here! Alright, good stuff. Stay right here now. Good, 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 good. Alright, we're learning. This is a learning experience. I am safe. Come on! Fuck, still not the last one. I'm gonna chase after this one. Come on. It's, it's in the front. It's gonna spin. Let's go! Bro, that was a nice boss fight. Very creative. I like that. I mean, it, it beat my ass, but it was nice. And honestly, I mean, when it comes to, like, puzzle or gimmick fights, that that's probably one of the best examples I've ever seen. Anybody home? Or whatever the... Yo? What the hell is that? Wait. Is that the girl we were looking for? I don't remember her name. What the hell's happening? Yeah, it Wait, is! Stop! Bro, I was about to get stoned. Not in the good way. What are you doing here? You saved my ass. I'm here to save yours. Wow. I. You didn't have to do that. Well, you were pulled screaming into a giant crystal, so I kind of did. Right. I guess I would have done the same. She wouldn't. But that did didn't sound very convincing. To be honest, I'm not sure. But I think it has something to do with this. They risked their life to find me. You can trust them. What? What are you? The keeper. The keeper of what? The realm in which you now reside. All realms. All my mandate to protect. What is it talking this about? This is the labyrinth. A place between worlds. Connecting the worlds. The Keeper protects all of them from the root. We got them out of Earth, but the others... There is little time. System failure is imminent. This segment... Where did you find it? I... killed something, and it kind of... fell out. <laughs> That's the best explanation ever. It's also true. More segments are required. The anomaly will retrieve them. Hey, the anomaly has a name, all right? Corruption tears at the seams of this realm. Yet the doorways remain gateways to other realms. This key grants passage. Find the segments and return them to me. So you know how I can find more of these things? The first was extracted from an entity of great power. Logic dictates. The others are resembled within the same. 
So in other words, kill more bosses. That's good, because it's what I was planning on doing either way. Also, I think we have the key for these things now. Biome portal key, yes. Alright. That seemingly did the trick. Bro. Holy fuck, that looks insane. God damn. Open up a checkpoint. Bro, that looks so freaking good. We just got to the holly tree or something? No, it's the red throne, eh? Close world. enough. Yeah, How many what the are there? fuck? Yo, that's a sick ass blade, bro. That's also a sick ass amount of health. What the fuck? I guess that armor is just for fashion, man. But it does look pretty good. Oh, we got a book in a library damn this game just keeps getting crazier also i wonder if these things and the diaries have any relation to certain secrets because i know this game has a lot of hidden stuff it is definitely likely or you can just learn how to make some spiced plums that seems nice too i really hope these dudes don't have any like ranged attacks because otherwise i'm gonna be fucked but god damn this like these dudes are healthy bro Am I even supposed to be here? I did have another option. Alright, second portal, let's see where we end up. We end up in a freaking dungeon. I mean, not the most inviting thing ever. But, I mean, alright. I mean, let's, let's explore a little bit. Yo, that dude has a gun! What is this, man? Freaking, did I just walk my ass into Bloodborne 2? The hell? Yo, who's the hell screaming in there? Shut up! The night weaver. She's coming. <laughs> oh, is she now? Well, that that would explain the screaming, I guess. Also, a lot of them are melee combatants, but they're not super strong. So you can just melee the hell out of people over here. Come on, which is pretty nice. <laughs> or not? Yo, I found a dungeon. I mean, I hope this is a dungeon or it might just be a boss now nah, right it, it's a dungeon it's the start of like a different area all right is there like a it's like a sewer style area i guess i see a health bar what the fuck is in the water bro what the fuck did you just put in the water man does that thing have tentacles why does everything have tentacles man stranger have you seen Drea? <laughs> My wife. If she's one of the crazy people outside, there is a chance that yes, I've seen her and I've also shot her. Those were the things that were on the water, right? Oh, what the fuck? It's like a glow. Yo, I. I, alright. My dog just decided to go in. This one's glowing for some reason. And, oh, bro! Look at the size of that rat! What is this? New York? Bro, this dude does. Damage man, oh my god, and it's got fucking lightning powers too. Sure, that's the fuck are they feeding the rats down here? Dude, where the uh sure, let's go for the headshots. Give me this. No, that's not that's the wrong button shit. Oh my and come on, I, he was close. He was close. Well, I can always dump some more points into vigor. All right, so another thing I just found out, whenever I use the mod, it automatically reloads your weapon. So you can load an entire clip, then use the weapon mod, and it's gonna reload the weapon, and you can just keep firing. Come on. Okay. Come on. Oh my, I just ran out of, no. No, I ran out of fucking ammo right there. Are you kidding me? This dude was fucking done. Take that man out. Well, and and he just regenerated Damn. more health. Now nah, that's fucking great. Where is he? Whoa, he's right there! Shit! Good stuff. Alright, alright, alright. Actually, I need some distance right now. Take this dude out, because they are annoying. Bro! Oh my god! God! I should have used my ability, man. I I forgot about it. I should have used my ability right there. Uh, and that's gonna hit. Fantastic. That was absolutely beautiful. Get the hell out of here. Drea's anklet. Oh, my God. God damn. Anyway, uh, Drea, that's the the wife of the guy. Yeah, yeah, it is. But if fucking Narga Kuga over here 
it's just gonna be a regular spawn in this area? That's kinda fucked. Also, I have this ability, which is great for groups, but even if there isn't a group, this thing just does damage. And a lot of it. Holy, well, actually, I, I could have spent it right here. Fuck. Well, give me this thing. By the way, did that dude die? No, it didn't. You fucking bitch. Get the hell out of here. Let's go. Bro, these lightning dudes are so annoying. God damn. Give me that Luminite. She wasn't there, but I found this. Wait a minute. Give a... No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Because, I mean, that's something I can use. Right? Or... No, is it just a quest item? Well, I guess so. Alright, good. That's Give the anklet. But she... Yeah, she was she that, bro. Thank you, stranger. I couldn't do it myself. But I... I needed to know. Here. His yeah, voice was... acting... Kinda reminds me of Bok from Elden Ring. And speaking of rings... I'm hearing people screaming on the other side. Actually, can I destroy that? Oh, I can. All right. And I can set my dog on fire as well. Bro, I just keep... Uh, bro, I'm sorry, man. Last episode, I also crushed him with a door. Like, bro, I am just the worst owner. This guy alive? He's an NPC. Can I... I can talk to him. What the... F oh, bro, this dude's... A Nah, like, why, uh, why does everything in this game have fucking tentacles, man? That, though, that looks very cool. And apparently, looking at my crosshair, there's a bunch of NPCs around there. Or not, what the fuck are... Yo, I mean, this looks... Ca oh, right, no, 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 all right, that's, that's the end. No, don't hit those. Do not shoot the cages. Get the hell out of here. Although apparently they are enemies now, probably because I did shoot them. Anyway, that- oh, he drops it. All right. Now, if I climb this, can I just, like, ju now, wait a minute. What if I go around and then jump? All right. Bro, I No, it it's fine. It's fine. That's why we have a dog. See what I told you, bro. This man always on deck with a revive. We got a severed hand. Fantastic. Bro, you have wings. Why the fuck are you using a leather, man? All right, so I believe this thing is fully explored. Although there's more to do in this area. It's loathsome. And the other forest here is Yeisha. Anyway, let's go back to War 13. We have been killing a lot of stuff. So I want to see if we have new weapons. And we do. We got a handgun which is just handgun what and the enigma which is another handgun 22 damage 15 rate of fire i mean i, I think rps what the fuck rounds per second i guess i don't know whatever fuck it bro just just give me both honestly let me check out this cube gun it is literally a cube this came from the boss in the labyrinth right anyway let's see what this can do All right, decent fire rate. What about the special ability? Wait, what? Oh, it's a shield. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. And also I just noticed your ammo is always the same. This thing just hits the target and comes back to the weapon. So what if I shoot it like far? Yeah, they just take a while. I, I can't, I can't shoot now until they return. That, that's actually kind of nice. All right. Those ones hit the wall. So my rate of fire depends on how fast I can get these things back in my weapon. So if it's very close, I can do this. Although it does overheat. If you're shooting at something that's further away, then it's like a burst because you're gonna have to wait. All right, very interesting. And now the Enigma, which also looks pretty... Uh, labyrinthian. Anyway, this thing has a second crosshair. Does this auto-aim? Wait a minute, can I... No, I, I'm hitting... Wait, you can hit two people at once with this? And then you also apply the shock debuff, which will shock them again. Doesn't have the fastest fire rate, but it could probably do some mean damage. 
that reload animation though i need luminite crystals to upgrade them though anyway guys we're gonna try these bad boys out in the next episode hope you liked it peace